So I wanted to do a really quick take on The Fanatic. I finally got around to watching it um, last Friday with my parents um, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. So it's a film that came out I, I believe last year. Um, it's written, directed and produced by Limp Biscuits Fred Durst, which kind of came out of left field. I don't think he's done anything film related before. I, I mean, I need to look into that, but I'm pretty sure this is at least his directorial debut. Um, it's also worth noting that Travolta is um, like a co-producer on this. So him and Fred Durst have producing credits. So um, it makes me wonder what the stakes were for him in this and how much he was sort of invested in it, why <laughs> he was. Um, did he just really believe in this script? Um, or, you know, I'm. that's something that I'm, I'm kind of curious about when I saw his name pop up as a producer. So I didn't quite get the the ultimate experience because I had seen quite a few reviews on this film before um, and you know once they had gone through it step by step so I kind of knew the beats that were coming up and I'd seen a lot of the funny scenes um, but it was good to see it put in context and um, I would say this film was it was pretty much what I expected it to be, um, which is a good thing. Um, my expectations were pretty high um, for this movie, and I guess at the beginning I wasn't sure if the hate John Travolta, not hate, but like people were making fun of his performance a lot and I was thinking maybe it's it's not it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be you know I, I was thinking he was gonna just be off the wall from the beginning um, but as I watched the film it's I mean I think it's a mix of his character supposedly breaking down and going crazier and um, just his acting getting weirder and weirder <laughs> um, which made it way more enjoyable for me. I think um, one of the highlights was definitely um, the English Bobby scene. Um, that, that was something else um, and actually my parents had left the room during that, so I was the only one that got to witness that, um, and yeah, it was, it was pretty incredible. So if I were to give my, my highlights of this film, um, the first scene would definitely be, uh, the English Bobby, anything with the English Bobby, pretty much, um, that was just something else um, <laughs> and my other favorite bit is definitely the ending um, obviously I love horror and I love cheese and this was just it was so bizarre it was it was so weird um, and just trying to figure out what was going through his head when he was writing this and I think he was going for like a really intense gruesome ending that um you know that that would be what everyone would talk about when they think of this movie as well as I think John Travolta's performance was supposed to be um really out there and um memorable obviously so yeah, that that was those were my two favorite elements. 
I don't think I can say anything that hasn't been said already about this movie. Um, just that if you haven't seen it and you don't know anything about it, I would really recommend going in blind. I think that is where you'll get just the best experience because I've watched a lot of um, movies about, not movies, uh, reviews and you know people talking about it, kind of dissecting it quite a lot. Um, so I knew all the beats and a lot of the funny moments, I'd already seen them. Um, don't get me wrong, they were still hilarious, but I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine someone just on a Friday night looking through like Amazon trying to find just a movie to watch and they pick this and they have no idea what they're in for and I, I just can't, I can't put myself in those shoes and imagine how good that would be. It, it would be amazing, it would be like hitting gold. So if you haven't seen it and you know nothing about it, go watch it now. Um, if you haven't seen it but you do know about it, you will still get a pretty good laugh out of it. Um, I would say even more than laughing, I was, I was bemused. I was, me and my mum were talking about it afterwards or like actually during it, she kept turning to me and saying like, I, I can't believe this is happening. And like, she was in such disbelief that this was a film and I mean there are much stranger te more terrible films out there this was semi you know competently made ish um the directing's not bad or anything it's it's okay um oh that does remind me of um one scene though so um it's the scene where actually, weirdly enough, I'd seen, I can't remember who someone had praised it. Um, he's going to get like his shirt signed, whatever, and he sees Hunter John Barr, who is um, Devon Sawa. Um, but he sees him, and all the other people in the room are gone, and it's just him behind his desk, like, and there's a, a literal spotlight shining down on him. Um, and he's like, come here and yeah you come here I'm gonna sign your shirt and um it I, I was like this is so bizarre like this is something from like this is like a scene from the 80s but it was being totally serious but it was like one of those really cheesy um scenes that you see in like an old 80s movie it really really felt like that to me um, and I couldn't believe that this was in a movie, seriously, in a movie from last year. Um, but I kind of loved that. That was, that was pretty fun for me. I was, my mind was being blown throughout this film. And I must talk about some other movies, particularly older ones, that, I, that are like really funny bad. Um, but this is definitely, this is definitely up there. This is a, a good one. So overall, check it out. Um, if I were to score this film, I would probably, I'd say if I were to score it objectively, it would probably be around like a, th a three out of 10, um, three and a half or something. But for me, my personal score, because I enjoyed it so much, would be um, if I were to score it purely on enjoyment and not how good it was, it would be maybe like a 7, I think. Um, but objectively, probably like a 3 or a 4 out of 10. Just go watch it. It's great. I haven't even talked about Travolta's performance, but I mean, there are no words, really. So. Thanks for tuning in, whoever does. I think I get like one view on these videos. Um, but yeah, thank you. I appreciate it.